So once again, we're looking at graphing an equation using the intercepts. The process is essentially the same. We use y equals 0 to find the x-intercept. We use x equals 0 to find the y-intercept. And then we choose one other point uh, for x or, or, or y. It, it doesn't matter which one uh, we choose as long as we solve for the other, the other variable. And then we plot the three points and connect the dots. So let's start off with the x-intercept. So again, this is when y equals 0. So 5x minus 2 times 0 equals 10. That gives us 5x equals 10. Divide both sides by 5, and we get x equals 2. So our x-intercept is 2, 0. For our y-intercept, Again, that's when x equals 0. So we substitute x equals 0. 5 times 0 minus 2y equals 10. That gives us negative 2y equals 10. Divide both sides by negative 2. And we get y equals negative 5. So our y-intercept is 0, negative 5. So let's go ahead and we'll choose x equals let's say 4. So at x equals 4, 5 times 4 minus 2y equals 10. That's 20 minus 2y equals 10. Subtract 20 from both sides and we get negative 2y equals negative 10. Divide both sides by negative 2 and we get y equals 5. So when x equals 4, y equals 5, which gives us the point 4, 5. Now we plot our three points, so 2, 0 for our x-intercept, 1, 2, 0, negative 5, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5 for our y-intercept, and then 4, 5, so 4 to the right, 1, 2, from the origin, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it does appear that all three line up. So we draw a line through all three points. And this is the resulting graph of 5x minus 2y equals 10.